hello you guys welcome back to a new vlog i am starting the vlog off in the car because we just are leaving the dentist we both had uh, dentist appointments today mine was at 10 and jared's was at 11 and i didn't start the vlog earlier because i didn't have enough time so we're starting it now and i'm so hungry i'm about to go home but i think before i go home i want to stop at tropical smoothie and get a protein bowl i had one last week i think and it was so good so i don't have a lot of groceries at home and i'm just gonna do like a pickup order or something tomorrow and so i figured i would just get a little protein bowl it's so it's so delicious i'm heading there now and brecklin is tired it is past her nap time it's 11.55 and she usually goes down for a nap at a little before 11. So she's just toughing it out right now. But I'm also kind of hoping that she'll stay awake until we get home because I want her to take a good nap and not just a 30 minute car nap. But we'll, we'll just have to see. Hi, thank you for choosing Tropical Smitty Cafe. What can I get started for you? Hi, can I get your guys' PB Protein Crunch Bowl? Uh, is everything on that okay? What's on it again? <laughs> that one has granola, banana, cacao chips, uh, almonds, and then we drizzled peanut butter and then chia seeds. Yes. Alrighty. That's all. Alright, one peanut butter protein crunch bowl. We'll have this up right the window. Thank you. Okay, I'm at a stoplight, but look how freaking gorgeous this is. It's kind of messed up. Oh, that's cold. Oh, let me take the top off. Look how delicious that looks. This thing is so good. And it's got 32 grams of protein. So, highly recommend. Let me know if you try it. It's yummy. Also, guess who fell asleep right when we went through the drive-thru? So, hopefully she will... I can get her a bottle when we get home and she'll go back to sleep for an hour, hour and a half. At least 45 minutes. That would be great. We're home, and guess who woke up right before we pulled into our driveway? This one, so she's not gonna go down for a nap, which it's, my watch is dead. I don't know what time it is. It's almost one, and she usually goes down for her second nap, somewhere between two and three, maybe a little after three, so we'll just hit the next nap, I guess, and she'll probably take an extra long one then, but that's okay. Huh, that's okay. I love her outfit today. It's probably one of my favorite outfits she has, but it's already so tight. Or this might be the only time she gets to wear it. It's a six to nine month pants, but they're so freaking cute. Look how those are. I love them. You wanna eat your foot? She had a bow on this morning. I'll like put a picture here because she looks so freaking cute. I know I say that all the time. So freaking cute, so freaking cute. But I did get a package. Here, you wanna sit here? You sit there, okay? You be careful, here. I did not have a package that I ordered yesterday waiting at the door for me when I got home. Ow, it is hot, hot, hot. What, it's not scary. It's not scary. Which I wasn't thinking we were gonna go for a walk today, but we might, now that we have a new stroller fan. I We have a stroller fan, but honestly, it doesn't work the best. I didn't even get it for that. I bought it for the labor because I thought I would be hot during labor. So everybody says to get a fan, and I did, and I was literally freezing. I could not get enough blankets on me during labor. So we have I have that one, but I don't know where the charger is, and honestly, it doesn't stay charged very long anyway and then I've seen so many people recommend this one like Michelle Reed can't remember who else but so many people have recommended this one and so I got it because we are going to the lake this weekend me and Brecklin and we definitely need some sort of fan or whatever even though I don't think it's even supposed to be that hot he's literally supposed to be low 80s this thing is massive whoa what is that what is that yeah, that's for your stroller. I understand why these are, this is highly recommended. This thing is so nice. I think it even has a, I don't know. I looked at a few different ones. I can't remember. If, yeah, this one has a light. A light, I think that might, this might one have be one that has the filter. I don't remember, but how cool. That has different settings of lights. Is that nice? 
She's like, <laughs> oh yeah, that picks up some air. Okay, this is the best fan. What do you think? <laughs> Come here. That thing puts off some air. That'll keep us cool at the lake, huh? Okay, I'm a fan of this fan. <laughs> this is neat. I like it. Obviously, it'll be linked down below. I, like I said, we might go for a walk today. I don't know. It's the lower 90s lately it's been lower 80s and it's been so beautiful some days i haven't even gotten to the 80s so nice i would love to get in a walk today because i have no, i've only worked out once this week because your girl started her first cycle after pregnancy after postpartum and it is kicking my butt i am so tired <laughs> It, it's not been as painful as I thought it was. I thought it was going to be like the worst period that I've had, but it's actually not been bad. I did have really painful cramps a couple nights ago, and I either thought that I was <laughs> going to find out I was pregnant soon or my period was coming. And I didn't think they would be really painful if I was going to find out I was pregnant, but there were some other symptoms happening that I'm like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. But it's not. It was a period, huh? Mommy's on day two. Hopefully it'll be over soon. But I do not miss being on my period at all. It was nice to not have a period for literally 499 days. That's how long I didn't have a period for. Almost 500 days. Yeah. How nice. Ow, let go of my earring. Let go of mommy's earring. I did want to just chill on the couch and maybe take a nap or read my book because I'm getting close to done. But that's not gonna happen for a while since she didn't take a nap. But I'm gonna change her out of this. I put her in this because I feel like our dentist office is always so cold. So I put her in this pants, but now she's like sweating through it. So I need to change her, but I don't know where my phone's at. Jared was getting ready to come home, I think. And I think we're gonna grill because tonight's the first football game, NFL football game. And obviously it's the Chiefs playing and Jared's a Chiefs fan. Clearly I'm not. So yeah, I told him that we could like, I'll make burgers and he could grill them. But he needed to stop at the store to get some buns and stuff. But I haven't seen his response. So I need to find my phone and figure out what I need to be doing. Um, Brooklyn ended up being a little cranky. So I fed her a bottle and laid her down in her crib. And I thought she fell asleep, but she didn't. So now Jared's in there just rocking her. He's probably going to take a nap in there with her while I read my book. I'm so close to being done. Well, not so close. I've got about 100 pages left, but I just haven't really had time to read much mom life. Um, so I'm going to take the opportunity to read before we make some burgers, and I think I'm going to make some fries. Jared brought some chips, but I just think homemade fries sound good. And it's time for an NFL game. We really actually need to spend this time watching Big Brother to catch up on it. But I know I say the same thing in every single vlog and you guys are probably like, shut up already. But <laughs> this is just my life. So, hope you enjoy. Also, look at that double chin. Whoa! She wouldn't fall asleep with him either. So, they're in there playing. <laughs> are you enjoying your little knack? In your little lawn chair? <laughs> Is that yummy? And dad's brushing Granger. So, uh, I just got done feeding Brecklin and I am so proud of her. She ate, she like earlier this week just stopped eating. Like she didn't really eat a lot before. I mean, she did 
where am I going with this? Just this week, she basically stopped eating. Like, I could not get her to eat anything. And one of you guys commented the other day and said that your son did that too. And that the silicone plates were, like, absorbing the soap. And it made the food taste like soap. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try giving her some food. Not on those plates. And I just used, like, one of, her regu one of our regular small plates. And she literally ate everything on her plate. And then had seconds of the bison that I got her which just makes me so happy. She did so good. So mom's gonna have to get you new plates that aren't silicone, but you did so good. I own pants and look at the french fries, you see? Do they look yummy? Do they look yummy? <laughs> Here, Cooper. Here, let me put it to where you can see yourself. There you go, there's my big eater. Here's my big eater for tonight. There's the burgers. They look so good. I'm gonna have this one, I think. And I kinda wanna give B. Drew a pickle. And here's our NFL kickoff family dinner. French fries didn't turn out the best because they're still kinda flimsy. I needed to maybe cook it at a higher temperature. I just did 400 for 30 minutes. So maybe I should've done 425 or something. I'm not sure, but it looks yummy. You wanna try pickle? You wanna try it? Look at her. <laughs> you liked it? Mmm. So what are you doing to me? Mmm. You gonna get the shivers? You are your mother's daughter. <laughs> Let me turn it around. They yummy? You like pickles! Yay! Good morning! I am making breakfast right now. I am gonna make a breakfast burrito. I was gonna make a breakfast sandwich, but I don't have any bagels. I just placed a Walmart pickup order. I thought I had bagels in here, and turns out I don't, but now it's too late to add to my pickup order because I missed the time frame. So we're just gonna have a breakfast burrito, I guess. But I kind of want to try something. I've been seeing people add cottage cheese to a lot of things. So I think I'm gonna try adding cottage cheese to my eggs, cause why not? And if it sucks, I'm still gonna eat it cause I hate wasting things. I don't even have bacon or sausage or anything. So I'm just warming up, frying some ham, or not ham, I wish I had ham. Frying some turkey, but I just added like a handful, a handful, a fork full of cottage cheese. I'm gonna mix it in and then go put it on my turkey. Here goes nothing. Oh, I'm scared. Oh my god, why does that kind of make me want to throw up? It looks gross. Ugh. Mmm. I don't know. I don't know about this. But once this cooks for a little bit, I'm gonna add some of this cheese to the top and then yeah, mix it in and get it all gooey. That's how you make a real good breakfast burrito. That could have been an omelet because I let it cook a little long. Add your cheese. And then you mix it again. And the cheese just melts perfectly on the egg and it's so good. If you aren't adding mayo to any kind of egg thing that you're making, you're doing it wrong because it is just so good. I don't make the rules. This is my favorite mayo. It's the avocado oil mayo. I get it from Walmart. It's so freaking delicious. But I add this to literally my all my bagels when I have an egg, my sandwiches, my burritos. It's just my fave. Now we add our egg. Well, mm -mm -mm. honey, does that look good? Here, you want the leftovers? Let's go to your bowl. Oh yeah, lick those lips. Licky little dippies. Usually I would like top this with like a Frank's Red Hot original sauce or something like that, but I just had to throw that away because the one we had in the fridge expired in 2021. So yeah, 
I think I'm just gonna leave it like this. It's still freaking good. And this is my breakfast. I still need to make the coffee though. Breakfast is served. And we've been here for a flipping hour and I am going insane because nothing is getting figured out. Jared can't. Oh, he's driving me crazy. This is real life, guys. Like, I want to just storm out of here and get the heck out of here to go get my Walmart pickup order and go home. But Jared is just like, just can't get anything figured out. And I thought we had it figured out because... He's doing a whole new door. He's coming. But, oh my god. I'm so irritated. I'm just so glad that I have the best baby in the world because she is handling this ten times better than I am. Aren't you? Huh. She's only screamed like once, but I am so I just I'm so ready to leave. I'm getting anxiety. You think it's funny? You think it's funny, sister? <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Blueville Express. <laughs> so, I'm in Target now. And I'm getting formula, obviously. I want to make sure I have enough um, while going out of town tomorrow. I also feel like she doesn't have a lot of sleepers, so I'm getting her this little six to nine month sleeper. But anyway, I feel like I couldn't talk with Jared <laughs> in there. But he decided to randomly lip, rip out our shed door today. And... So now he's on a crunch line to fix it. And so we we're in Menards trying to find stuff to get fixed. And it was just taking forever. I feel like I didn't preface this, preface this, preface that earlier, but yeah, that's what was taking forever. And now he's trying to get home to go put it together. But I needed to stop here and we still have to go get our Walmart pickup order. But I'm also trying to find some more food for her because I'm addicted to buying her food. Today we're finally back home. It's 6.07. I'm just about to feed her. We left Menards. I went to Target. As soon as I got back in the truck from Target, I could immediately smell that she pooped. So when we got to Walmart, obviously there's like a little bit of delay from getting there and then like getting our groceries out to us. So I decided to change her and she had the worst blowout that she's probably ever had. It was literally all the way up her back. Totally just threw that onesie that she had on away because it just don't even want to deal with it and it was probably like one of the last times she was going to wear it because it was getting too small. So we just threw it away, huh? It was sad, but just no. But anyway, we're home and she's happy, but I was just going to show you a few things that I got. I love this soap from Menards. I'm sure you can get it other places, but I just always find it at Menards. I always have, or I already have the spray thing for it like this so I just got a refill so I need to refill this and this kitchen is a disaster and it needs clean I have like 800 things to do before I leave tomorrow in no time and I also got a new dog scoop from Menards but that's boring on the target obviously got formula I show this every single vlog uh, but she is like growing out of her six to nine month sleepers already so I got new ones these are six to nine months but i feel like cloud island they run very big so i still got six to nine months but i'm thinking she can fit these for a long time because these are huge but aren't they cute they're like a little fall set in color you like any jammies are they cute anytime i hold anything up for her like in the store to show her like if it's clothes or anything she just goes <laughs> she gets so excited I'm gonna have to wash these real fast and you can wear one tonight. I talked about last night how the whole plastic situation with their food. So I got, or not plastic, silicone. So I got some Cloud Island bowls and divided plates. Hopefully these will do better for her since they're not silicone, but they're BPA, PVC, and phthalate free. Phthalate, however you say that. I know I'm not saying it right. And then I also got her some more spoons because she really only has like two or one that she really loves and then two that she uses so i just got her some more the all this was so cheap 
All these, I don't remember how much these were, but the bowls were $2.99 and the plates were $2.99. The spoons might have been $2.99 too. And then since she loved it so much, I got her some more bison. But I don't know if she should have it because that blowout was <laughs> crazy, girl. But she loves it, so we're gonna have it. And that's all from Target. I got a bunch of stuff from Walmart, like what you're sitting on that I need to show you. But let's see if she'll go in her high chair. Are you ready to eat dinner? Are you ready to eat dinner? Holy cow, these are freaking massive. I didn't think they were, oh my gosh. Okay, so I got some pads because I have not worn a tampon. This is like getting TMI, but I have not worn a tampon. What'd you do? Since I had my miscarriage back in 2022 because you're just not supposed to put anything inside of you once you're bleeding from um, pregnancy or anything like that. So ever since then, I just have not bought tampons. I kind of really liked the pads. So I got some of these clean and secure pads and I got them the overnight ones. I didn't realize there's 40 in here. So obviously there's a lot, but they feel kind of huge. So we'll see how those go. And then I got her some foods because like I said, I'm addicted to buying foods. Ooh. Also got me another concealer since I'm out. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. It just matches my face like the best, so that's why I get it. But I got her some of these, some like breakfast things because these are just really nice to give her for breakfast in the mornings just to like give it to her and squeeze and she can squeeze herself, which is another thing that I ordered this morning that should be here, should be coming here soon, if not here already. I don't think it was out there. But like my friend told me you can get like squeeze adapter things to where, or pouch adapter things to where that they can suck it, but they can't squeeze it out because she loves to do that. So I ordered that immediately when she said that, but I got some organic banana, blueberry and oat, organic apple, peach, oatmeal, organic banana, raspberry and whole grain barley. These are all Earth's Best, Organic Earth's Best brand. And then I got a free range chicken. I ordered this before I went to the Target and they didn't have bison on the Walmart pickup, so, or at Walmart at all, so I just put this in there. And then I got an apple, strawberry, and banana for like a little snack for at the lake. I thought we were going to the lake tomorrow, but plans have changed. We're not going to the lake anymore, but we're still going to my parents. It's just a long story with the dogs. Like I couldn't get boarding for them. What the heck? Jared said that Jared picked up, he like dealt with the pickup order while I was changing her diaper, but he said that they didn't break. Oh wait, he just bought this at Dollar General. Never mind. I was like, that's the one item that on the Walmart pickup app that said wasn't available. And I'm like, I was confused picking up. Okay, moving on. I got some rolled oats, which I might just have oatmeal tonight or something quick because I have so much to do in no time. Some peanut butter and some new coffee that I'm excited to try. I splurged a little and got the Dunkin' Butter Pecan ground coffee. Oh my gosh, that sounds so good. I got some sourdough bread. I guess I'm just giving you a full grocery haul. Some grapes. Mommy has no room to put this stuff. And some turkey bacon. I always get these protein bars because they're like clean. They're the ready clean protein bars with 15 grams of protein. I got dark chocolate, um, dark chocolate coconut almond, and then dark chocolate sea salt. This one is so good. The rest is just like produce and stuff. I got um, the little Oikos Pro yogurts that I always get. I got strawberry, peach, vanilla, and mixed berry. And then I also got a Oikos Pro plain yogurt with 25 grams of protein. I love getting this because it's just packed full of protein and it's good for yogurt bowls. More lettuce apparently, even though Jared got some last night. And then mushrooms, strawberries, green beans, cucumbers, some cheese, bananas, avocado, and an apple. No, an avocado, apple, and banana. I said that wrong. And that's the haul. Oh my gosh, I have nowhere to put any of this. And Jared's currently in the backyard working on the door now. Oh wait, I have to show you what else I got. I don't know if she's like too old for this. According to this, she's not. But I kind of just like wanted a seat for her to sit in that comes with a tray. I know we've had a few seats before. The Bumbo, or however you say it. And I've also heard that that's really not good for like their hip growth or whatever, so. And then we had another like Fisher Price seat, but it didn't have the tray since we got it handy down. 
hand-me-down. So I wanted this, but it can also like turn into a little booster seat as well. So I got this just for like if we travel and I need a high, a high chair and stuff, or if I just need to set her, you know, down somewhere. So I'm gonna put this together actually and see if she'll sit in it. I'm not kidding you when I say that she scarfed this down in five minutes. I think switching away from the silicone is helping so much. I filled these things completely full and, and lately she's barely even been taking like a few bites out of all of them, out of both of them. Most of the time I'm like feeding the dogs like majority of the food that I feed her, but she just scarfed this down again in five minutes and like she did last night. But now she's in her new little chair. She, do you like it? Do you like it? Honestly, I don't even know if I should have bought this because it seems kind of pointless maybe because she like can, for the most part, sit up on her own. Um, I still just don't like having her sit up on her own like on hardwood floor because she's not the most stable. She'll fall over sometimes, but this just seems, hey, stop licking her. Is she silly? This just seems helpful for now. And it was only $30 and like obviously we can use it for our next baby or whatever, but this will help out a little bit. Maybe this can be your new shower chair because I want to take that swing out of our bathroom. Do you like it? Do you want to drink a water? I'll get you some water. You're so cute. Oh, see, does that sound oh, yeah. You gotta put your hand on your heart. That national anthem was 20 times better than the one last night. The one at Kansas City was not very good. This one was really good. I have been cleaning like a freaking fool and have not picked up the camera at all because I just need to get this house clean, to get us packed. I gave her a bath and cleaned her up and I just got my Amazon order. So I'm gonna show you real fast what I got. So like I said, I'm freaking sweating. Like I need a shower so bad. I, um, oh I like these. Like I said, I ordered some like food baby pouch attachments. Oh, looks like Brooklyn started a workout for me. Interesting. <laughs> so she can't like squeeze it out of there, I guess? I don't know. Hopefully, yeah. But it came in a pack of four and they're so fun because they're like tie-dye. I love them. These are gonna be so, so freaking helpful. Just being able to hand her a pack and not have to worry about a mess. Why is it so zoomed in? And then I also got, I wasn't gonna get anything else, but I needed to spend like nine more dollars to get free shipping for same day. Free same day shipping, I said that weird. So instead of paying like $4.99 for shipping, of course I'm gonna spend nine dollars to get it free. Um, but she needed something like this. I wouldn't have got this color, but this one is the only one that came same day. It's a Dr. Brown's weighted straw sippy cup. She loves drinking out of sippy cups, like with meals and stuff, but the one that she has spills, because she likes to tip it upside down and everything, and this one is supposed to be no spill. It also is a weighted, I think I said that, a weighted straw, so like no matter how she tips it and drinks it, um, she's always gonna be able to get water, which I thought was cool. So, I'm gonna go stick this in the sink, all of these in the sink, because I am washing like all the new plates and stuff, and, I washed the one that she ate off of earlier, but I'm washing it again, obviously, because it's dirty now. But, I just thought I would share that if you guys were in need of any one of these. These, I think, are gonna be game changer. So, I hope this helps some of you out. <laughs> so, I just got out of the shower, and I was feeding Brecklin a bottle. I was about to put her down, and I'm trying not to cry right now because I'm so just overwhelmed. She threw up all over me, on the chair, on the floor, all over her, and I just I can't do it. I, I definitely like am not gonna pack tonight, like I'm just gonna do it in the morning, but I just freaking showered. I just gave her a bath, and she threw up all over herself. She only does this like, it used to be like a few times a month, but it's kind of spaced out to like now it's like, maybe once every two months, but she just like overeats and doesn't stop herself. Yeah. I don't care if I'm disgusting, I'm not showering. I'm not showering again, I'm not giving her a bath. She really only got it on her arm, on her, um, what's it called, sleeve of her onesie, and I took it off. She got it all over her sleep sack, so I need to go freaking wash that. 
because I need to take that with us, but I'm not showering yet. Call me disgusting, I don't care. I just literally do not have it in me. I'm not crying, there's something in my eye, but <laughs> I feel like I could just, I'm on the verge of tears because I'm just trying to get stuff done and I can't because nothing is going right. It's 8.42 and I've had these freaking dishes sitting in the washer or in the sink soaking for like an hour now and just like I need to wash them but I can't because I've been doing other things and I'm like I don't want these dishes to get sucked up with soap either I don't know what I'm saying I just I'm frustrated and I'm just trying to be real with you guys because I always try and keep it real on this channel nothing ever goes as like perfect so I'm just trying to show both sides so I'm gonna clean myself up get her clean and try again so it's now 10 5 I just got um the laundry moved over to the dryer it's drying right now and um to top off the night everything that jared got really didn't fit for the door so he's been out there just having the he the worst time trying to get it all put together basically like didn't even get to like put in the top piece because it just doesn't fit so he was trying to get it all done before he goes to work tomorrow for two days um but that's not gonna happen at least he has the door on there and it can close for now but definitely doesn't fit. So he's gonna have to figure something out. So it's just been a stressful night for all of us. <laughs> but Brecklin's asleep in bed and I'm about to go crawl in bed. But yeah, I just had to move the laundry over so I could take some clothes tomorrow and stuff. But I've been reading for the past little bit while I was rocking her to sleep. This thing drives me crazy, but I'm gonna go to bed. Good morning. We're packed and ready to go. The dogs won't go potty. Hit nine o'clock on the dot, which is exactly the time that I was aiming to leave for. I got up around 7.20ish or something like that. Started getting things around and getting ready and I am sweating, but it is beautiful outside. It is literally like 55 degrees, I think. I am just so in love. I got my Husker shirt on for game day. I got sweats on because it's chilly. And I love it. I was gonna make a coffee before I go, but I think I'm just gonna stop on the way because why not? You can't road trip without a stopping for a coffee. I'm out of breath. So that's what we're gonna do. And we're gonna hit the hay. Wait, does that mean go to sleep? We're gonna hit the road. Unfortunately, I have to stop and fill up with gas because that's the annoying road trip essential things. You have to have gas to be able to drive. Um, got the dogs loaded up, bees loaded up. The car is packed, but we're ready to go. I'm ready to be there, watch football all day with the parents and my brothers. It'll be fun. We got ourselves a full tank and we're ready to hit the road. She's been sleeping for a little bit now. She fell asleep like 30 minutes ago, maybe. And so I'm trying to decide if I want to stop and get a coffee because I feel like if I stop, she's going to wake up. And I don't want that. And literally the coffee, the scooters that I'm going to is right up here at this next stoplight. What do I do? I feel like I'm going to do it. Because maybe if she wakes up, she'll fall back asleep. I don't know. But I'm hungry. And I want coffee, so I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. JK, I'm not doing it. There's like 10 cards in line. So that's a bummer. Now what am I gonna do? Oh, and she's waking up. Perfect. I don't think so, Miss. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the top. <laughs> what a beautiful sight.
What are you eating? Are you eating watermelon? Hello, you guys. We are back home. It's, whoa, 6.34, and we got home a little before three, but I just have been, can't even explain. You do it. Hey, you want me to do it? Mmm, it's bison, you like bison. As soon as we got home, I started like unpacking everything and trying to get stuff cleaned because this house was a disaster. And I just wanted to get unpacked, get laundry started, dishes, wa like bottles washed and cleaned and stuff. And so I got all that done. I went to go sit down to finally like actually get to watch the Broncos game. It was already like the second quarter by that time. I had it playing, but like I was trying to do stuff while it was, wa while it was playing. You better eat your food. <laughs> and right after I sat down. Honey threw up all over our rug in the living room. So I had to get up and clean that. And while I was cleaning that, I put her in her little mamaroo thing. She's almost about to like outgrow that thing because she's like trying to get out. Huh, it's not very safe for you to do that. But I cleaned up Honey's throw up and everything. And if you know, I, ugh, I do not like throw up. And it was so much and it was just like, ugh. Anyway, get that cleaned up, sit down on the couch with her because she's getting like fussy and she wants a nap. So I like go to cuddle her, start patting her back, and she had a blowout all over her Broncos onesie. So I was like, I guess I'm not meant to watch this game because I just didn't get to sit down and watch any part of the first half, which is fine because they, they played like absolute poop. Hmm, that was your, that's what you were trying to tell me? I know. Yeah. I know, you're so smart. So, yeah, and then I had to clean her up. Then it was halftime, and I tried to shower down at halftime. And then I watched a little bit of the third quarter, and we were just sucking it up. So I started editing. Actually, I made some oatmeal, and then I started editing for the rest of the game because I just was, am really behind on my editing, and I was like, I, I need to do two things at once. So I kind of watched the game, but I mainly focused on editing. You're so interested in mom talking. I just need to shut up. Oh. oh, good job. And then I woke her up at six after I put her down for a nap at five. She just had a little cat nap because she needed it. Um, but yeah, now we're here feeding Miss B Drew some dinner. It is so nice outside. I kind of want to go for a walk, but I'm like, I literally just showered. But at the same time, I don't care. I've kind of been stagnant all day driving. We went to church this morning with my brother. Huh? Did we go to church with Uncle JJ? And then we left shortly after that. I didn't vlog. I mean, I kind of did, got a little B-roll, but I didn't like do any vlogging while I was there. I just like to like spend time with my family and like I'm not gonna put my family online really because <laughs> this channel is about me and I'm not trying to include them because I don't think they want to be included. But um, it was such a good weekend. It was so chill and I loved it. We, I don't even think we left the house at all. I mean, we went for a walk, but other than that, we just chilled in the living room and chilled in the garage and watched some football, had some beers, and it was just so nice. Huh, was it fun? I had fun. I didn't even put makeup on yesterday. The only reason I put makeup on today was because we had to go to church, but it was a really good weekend. You wanna do it? Good job. But yeah, I don't even remember when I started this vlog, how much footage I have of it. So I'm like, do I need to end it or do I keep going? I don't know. The one good thing about this weekend is Nebraska won and they did so well. Well, the first half they did great, but they still pulled out the W, which is so exciting because they haven't been 2-0 and and I don't even know how long. So I'm very excited about that. Um, and yeah. I'm gonna finish feeding her, and then I need to finish editing, obviously, so I can get the video up tomorrow. And I'm like this close to finishing my book. I think I have like 20 pages left, so I really wanna finish that tonight, but we'll see. Oh, also, her new mattress should be coming today. It should be getting delivered. I need to look and see where it's at. 
Yeah, do you want another bite? Here, let me get another bite. Thank you. Don't put your hand in it. Don't put your hand in it. It says arriving today by 9 p.m. It doesn't say it's up for delivery, though. Yeah, I don't think it's coming today because it, that's not even in the same state. So I don't think it's coming today. So that's cool. Oh, well. We just eat it tomorrow. Hello, you guys. It is Monday. I just finished uploading my video and I got Brecklin's new mattress today, which reminded me that I never even showed you guys her mini crib that I got. And I thought I would do that while I need to put on the sheets for her new mattress. Whoa, that's dark. <laughs> but this is her mini crib that we got. I really like it. It's Graco, which is like majority of the bigger baby items that we have. I just really like that brand. But it came with this mattress together. And I didn't think it was a bad price at all. It was like $140 for the crib and the mattress. But I just don't feel like this is the most comfortable mattress. I mean, it works. She's slept on it for like two weeks now and like it's not terrible, but I just, for her bassinet, I ordered another mattress, which I don't even think I shared. I ordered like a firm kind of memory foam one when she like wasn't sleeping through the night and I just was <laughs> having a breakdown and didn't know what to do. So I just searched for mattresses and she ended up sleeping better. So I ordered another one just for a mini crib size. So I got it today and I'm going to put the sheet on it and put it in there but I thought this was cool this mattress is double-sided so this side is a more firm side for zero to nine months and then you can flip it over after that and then it has a more soft memory foam side for nine plus months so I thought that was neat but yeah um got it off of Amazon and it's supposed to be breathable and waterproof and all the things you know so I'm gonna switch them out and yeah I really like this crib if you're searching for like a mini crib style. I can back up and show you a little more. That's what it looks like. Don't mind the dirt. No, those are clean. Those are all clean clothes that just have not been put away. So don't mind that. This is kind of just like your little standard mattress. It's nice. It just kind of like bows a little bit in the middle, which I'm not. I wasn't a fan of and I just felt like she could be more comfortable in this so we'll try it out and see how it goes. So for dinner uh, I think we're going to have some chicken stir fry. I got these little stir fry packet things um, a while ago. We had one a few weeks ago and Jeremy really liked it, so it's super easy. So that's what's for dinner tonight. So I just gotta make the chicken and then throw that in there. I'm cutting up a cucumber for the dogs. I like to get these because as treats because they like them. Oh, you guys like cucumbers? They always know when I'm cutting it too. They always like come up right here. Mmm, healthy doggies. I hate cucumbers, honestly. <laughs> Not hate, but I just don't like them. I'll eat them in like a salad if they're really chopped up, but that's about it. Want another one? Honey, eat that. They smell really fresh. I love cucumber water. That's really yummy. Oh, you missed. Good job, honey. And I also need to prep some grapes and some strawberries from my grocery haul over the weekend. grapes off the stems but I can't remember how to do it. I saw a video but I don't remember how to do it. <laughs> so if you guys know, let a girl know. soupy by adding too much water but it hopefully it'll cook down when I leave the lid off. It smells so good. You want it? You better eat. Here. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Oh, you it. better eat. 
Yo. You don't think it's funny anymore? <laughs> You're crazy! You get mama all wet. You get mama soaking wet. I love your two little teepers. Ah! Ah! Oh, don't eat your toes. Don't eat your toes. Are you all done? Are we all done? Let's put. Mr. Froggy away. Let's put Yellow Ducky away. Let's put Mr. Cow away. <laughs> oh, no. Whoa, you're splashing everywhere. Come here. He's a naked baby. Oh my goodness. You're getting too big for this cow, girlfriend. He's such a cutie girl. He's a cutie girl. You see yourself in the mirror. <laughs> So I had to order Brooklyn, well, some Husker stuff because she didn't have any clothing. She only had like mitten things, but I got her some stuff because it was on sale. And look at this, it's so cute. It says, number one fan. This is a six to nine month, which I should have got the next size up because she's almost out of this. But I feel like sports stuff is so random sizing. like. It'll be three to six months and it'll fit like newborn or zero to three, or it'll be three to six months and it'll fit like six to nine months. It's so weird. This is so freaking cute. Are you kidding me? I'm so obsessed. She has a K-State one like this because of her grand dude, grandma, and siblings. But this one is for me and grandma, and it's so cute. Go big red. And this is the six, six to 12 months, which I should've got bigger than this. Well, I don't think they had bigger than this, but. Her K-State one this size is getting too tight because it actually like buttons down here, like a onesie, but I guess we just don't have to button that, but how freaking adorable. My little Husker girl, her first cheerleading uniform.